Hey guys, we're sitting here today with Elaine Butler, who is the Character Counts and Community Program Coordinator. Did I get that right? Yes, Community Mentoring it. Program Mentoring. Coordinator. Mentoring. <laughs> you know, I forget one word every once in a while. But we're here to talk about something that's going on in your community, Queens County. So please, listen up. And we're talking about something fun, too, which is a dinner. Yes. So you guys are having a dinner. And when's that? It is Thursday, January the 25th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Kent Island Senior Center. And there's going to be food. There's going to be a good time. You're going to get to meet lots of people. Yes. And we're talking about something very special that's going on, and that's going to be a mentor program. Yes. So what's going on with this mentor program? Well, we are uh, specifically identifying the opportunity youth. That's who we're focusing on. And that is youth between 16 and 24 who are not in school and not employed. And this is our opportunity as a community through mentors and business partners to s reach out and support those young people, provide them what they need to become successful. So at this dinner, you have some of the mentors that you already have. Of, yes. Right. And mm -hmm. so you have them and we're inviting all the businesses yes. to come. Yes. Any business who wants to participate in this, I hear all the time businesses talk about uh, the youth and their work ethic and lack of and maybe lack of loyalty. This is an opportunity and we focus on the whole person. Uh, we build, help build their, so, their soft skills if necessary, mm -hmm. provide them, determine what their educational needs are to become successful and then bring the businesses in to help possibly to partner with us to mentor through um, apprenticeships, internships, job shadowing, those kind of things. Um, yeah. So it's, it's involving them um, and it's, it's an informational dinner too so everyone can learn more about what we're, we're trying to do. Right, perfect. Yeah. And you use some words like you use soft skills and you have mm -hmm. your mentors that are teaching soft skills and people mm -hmm. might not know exactly what that means. Mm -hmm. but that's pretty much the stuff we take for granted every day, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. It's basically life skills. It's things like a personal financial management, social emotional skills. Um, sometimes personal hygiene. I mean, mm -hmm. just the basic life skills. And we, add, we help identify what those needs are. And our mentors, who are a very dedicated group of, we form teams who are retired teachers, you know, in the businesses, social workers that have some experience and know how to build these skills for right. these youth. And so. then we have these youth that are now coming out more prepared. Yes. And they'll be better workers. They'll be better for the community. Absolutely. They'll They'll be more educated because you're helping them with education, too. Yes. So what are some things that we're doing with that? Well, depending on what their situation is, if they have not completed high school, we work with the Board of Ed uh, to find out what their, what their requirements are in order to get a GED or get a high school diploma. And then we point them in the right direction, either through the college GED program or sometimes right the Icra Points Academy um, or in, within the schools. So we help them get those educational requirements um, tied up. And then, if, and then if they need to focus on something through the college to, for vocational skills mm -hmm. or more academic skills, we work with those institutions to uh, get them what they need. That's great. And yeah. when it comes to community and it comes to improving, things are very circular. Yes. So if we have the community and we have these mm -hmm. young kids who are now learning these skills and developing, mm -hmm. they need places to work. Yeah. And the places to work need to support them in return. And that's where they come in, right? Absolutely. The businesses. This, yeah. this, this is the call to action right here, folks. <laughs> so we want businesses to come yes. and learn about the program. Yes. We need their support. It's a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. uh, like I, I mentioned before, we hear businesses complain about not having good quality employees, but this is their opportunity to build those the qualities and the employees that they're looking for. So, right. You get to um, mold your own employees. That's right. You get to mold them. <laughs> How <laughs> the perfect is that? Yeah. It is win-win. Yes. So, and yes. Uh, we have some success stories already, and we're hoping to get more partners in this initiative. And it's all part of the governor's program uh, to focus on the opportunity youth. So it's a statewide program, and this is what we're running at the county level right, right. now through my mentoring program. That's so, great. Please come to the dinner. Yes, come <laughs> to the dinner. And please RSVP to me. We do have flyers out there, uh, but um, call me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll put the flyer right here. put the flyer. Yeah, it's going to be right <laughs> we'll here be in the shot. <laughs> I'll zoom in too. Yeah, I'm going to move it. Well, so it'll have your the way to contact you. Yes. And they have to do this by the 11th? By the 11th. I'm hoping to get yes. by the 11th. Yeah. So awesome. please, right away, don't waste any time. Sign up, come to the dinner, get some more information. Love Help to the have community. you. Yeah, yes. I'd love to have love you. Love to have you.